This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at rate of reaction. The rate of reaction is the change in concentration of the reactants or products per unit time. So the rate of reaction can either be equal to the increase in product concentration or the decrease in reactant concentration divided by the change in time. The rate of reaction can also be represented as the change in concentration of the products divided by the change in time or the negative change in the concentration of the reactants divided by the change in time. The negative sign means that the concentration of the reactants decreases as the reaction proceeds. And the units for rate of reaction are mole per decimeter to the negative 3, second to the negative 1. The instantaneous rate of reaction at time t can be calculated from a graph of concentration against time. So we start by drawing a tangent to the curve at a specific time. If we want to measure the initial rate of reaction, we draw the tangent at time equals zero. We then measure the gradient of the tangent. This is done by dividing the change in the y-axis by the change in the x-axis. The gradient of the tangent is equal to the rate of reaction. And finally, we look at how the rate of reaction changes over time. The initial rate of reaction is the fastest. This is because there is a high concentration of reactant particles, therefore a high frequency of successful collisions. As we can see from the gradient of the line, the rate of reaction decreases with time. This is because the concentration of reactant particles decreases and the frequency of successful collisions between reactant particles also decreases.